3D printer, video update, high temperature, hot end. Okay, um, for anyone who's been wondering um, what I'm going to be using to extrude with, with polycarbonate, this is my hot end. It's a modified uh, E3D. I think it's a um, I think it's an E3D. Well, this part is a, the standard cooling part that you get from China. Um, this is obviously Bowden extruder type. But what I've changed is obviously this is my heater cartridge. Um, it has a copper inner core and a 120 watt um, nichrome heating element that is basically wound the full circumference inside and uh, heats up evenly all around the, this copper core um, which the copper core will absorb all the heat before the aluminium does there is a it's sort of the, the heating element is extremely close to the copper core where it's spaced off from the aluminium which is more just to, to hold it all together really um, with a standard a uh, stainless steel heat break um, these were actually ones with the PTFE or the nylon liner um, which I've removed it's hard to see down there but in there is a brass copper uh, a brass tube in, inserted all the way and goes basically from the very end of that air fitting um, to just below the probably f the first fin and then this one which has been chamfered will uh, go all the way when I get it there and mate up with that other one and it creates a slight air gap so there is an air gap from this end all the way up to the air to the um, heat break so there's no real contact with that inner tube to the surface of the copper the only contact with the, the copper which predominantly most of the heat is actually builds up in this boss which you can see from the the heat pattern that's been generated um, this will actually run up to 400 degrees C the only thing that doesn't run up to 400 degrees C is uh, this little thermistor which will be changed um, So yeah, it won't be that later. And the same with the thermistor. The idea of this design is, uh, I think it's probably other people have done something similar, I'm not sure. But the copper core is obviously a lot more um, better at transferring heat than aluminium. And with the evenly distributed heat from the inner uh, nichrome wire coil then uh, it just sort of helps transfer the temperature in the right direction nice and evenly can't really see um, and there's a small hole that's drilled it's not open to the to the inner thread it's close but it's not open so it's a blind hole but it allows to get the thermistor right down right down into a roughly here which is as close to the end of the nozzle as possible so you're reading the actual the very last 
temperature before you're, you're, in, you're extruding. I mean, it'd be nice to be able to get the temperature probe right down here, but it's not really practicable. But that's as close as I can get it without putting it at risk of easy damage. So uh, it's cemented in there with some 1200 degree um, resin cement. So yeah, it's uh, easily holds 400 degrees, which is way beyond what I need. So three, three to 350, I suspect, will be the maximum that I'll need for polycarbonate. But I've made sure it will go to 400. This is not complete. There will be an insulation barrier here, um, and probably insulation wrap around, just to try and stop that absorbed heat from traveling up because this does get extremely hot very quickly and uh, yeah I mean if I if you left it just switched on it would it would just melt away so uh, yes it will need some insulation and just so you don't touch it I've already touched it twice and lost skin so uh, very hot and I, I'm sure it'll do what I need. I've got another slightly modified version. This is just a prototype. Um, I will show some pictures of how I constructed this. But it's uh, fully insulated and rated inside with the cement to 1200 plus degrees. And I've, I say, so I've had this at 400 for. Uh, quite some time. I didn't use this <laughs> to measure it and it wasn't attached to this at the time. This will not like that three to four hundred degrees really. Um, this will this temporary. Um, we have a water cooling block that I'm making to go on the end of here. It will actually shrink